Welcome to Networking Rx, a podcast devoted to helping business professionals like you enhance your networking skills in order to become more proficient giving and receiving quality business referrals and improving the overall quality of your life and the lives of those around you. The Networking Rx podcast is a production of AmSpirit Business Connections, an organization whose mission is to empower business success through networking. New Year's Day. Um, you know, I remember when I first became self-employed back in 1995, and there was just this kind of feeling. Up till then, I was, you know, in college, in law school, business school. You know, it was just it was kind of more of a party atmosphere. And when I started working my first job, there was really a sense of dread around New Year's because you knew you had the day and then you, I was a tax consultant. So I was mired down in in the tax world for the first four or five months of the year. It was just very busy and it's not, wasn't something you look forward to. Uh, But I remember becoming self-employed and it was January 1 of 1995 and just, just this, this feeling of this feeling of hope that overcame me, uh, that there was something new, there was something unique on the horizon. And, you know, obviously there was a huge change between working for somebody else and working for myself. And I've mentioned that and talked about that at length, but there was, what I found was, is that now I was, and maybe this was it, I was in control and I could do things and, and it was exciting. And the interesting thing about that moment, um, the interesting thing about that moment was, and it probably started the day before because I remember I remember going off to uh, Office Max or Staples and just buying a bunch of stuff. Okay, I, get, um, I, need, I can take this deduction before the end of the year, thinking like a true tax person. Um, but I, I just remember just that, okay, this is, you know, this is something that's, um, this is really something neat, something, you know, now I can, I can do something with this. It was just, it was a sense of, it was a sense of optimism and energy that I'd never felt before. And the interesting thing here rolling into 2024, and again, you do the math, we're looking at what, 29 years, I guess, um, is I still get that feeling. I still get that feeling that, you know, it's not that anything was bad about last year, but it's like I can do something new with this year. And, you know, that's, you know, I continue to feel that and I hope I continue to feel that. Um, But I really want to talk about how we can start the year strong with respect to networking. The first thing I encourage you to do is, is to set goals. Um, And I don't know that they necessarily need to be smart goals. Um, I mean, they can be. um, But what I certainly encourage is not not to have goals around the results you're looking for. Because you really have trouble, really have trouble with uh, well, you, you, you can't control the results. Right. You can't say, okay, I want to build a network that's going to generate me X this year um or you know ramp up this uh, i mean you can't control it people move people change allegiances people you know colleagues become p- competitors you, can, you can't control so many things about that but what you can control is the effort and to set forth and say okay this is my goal for the effort i'm going to give this year now what i will tell you with respect to setting goals in the new year is is take it slow. And we see this so often with respect to people and the new year and setting goals, weight loss, working out, relationships, investments, all sorts of things like that. We see them hard charge. We see people hard charge for two or three weeks working out, going to the gym every day. Um, and it becomes so onerous that it doesn't last. And what I advocate for people is, is just what's that small change you're going to make? You know, what's this small little goal you're going to have for the year where you're not going to be a world beater here in January and then forget about it in February? 
if you even make it to February, but something that you're still kind of dialed into throughout the year, you know, looking back in December, you know, in Ju- well, July, August, it's become just part of the fabric of what you do. Uh, you know, last year going into 2023, I wanted to do some different things with my podcast and that led me into stumbling into these linkedin lives i really didn't know what it was but it was kind of my goal i need to figure something to do a little something different um talk to uh talk to a few people out there who had lives and they just said yeah it's just a unique way of connecting with a whole new audience and so that was kind of my goal um and i just started asking around and by february it was in place and i have hit every monday at 10:30 a.m. doing a LinkedIn live and then I pull that over to uh, the audio portion of it to to my podcast which really doesn't add, add a whole lot of more work for me. So having the goal um it, you know leveraging leveraging platforms like LinkedIn, like Facebook, like Instagram, like Alignable if you're in in the United States and Canada those are great opportunities to uh, not to just craft a, a compelling online presence, although that is important is to having that, you know, that presence and, and, you know, taking the time to really kind of update it, but finding people to meet. And that's really my goal at any point in the year is I'm not trying to meet thousands and thousands of people or hundreds and hundreds of people. I'm looking to meet a few dozen new people this year that can help me just kind of continue things along, adding them to the people that were already there. And it's amazing how that grows. It's just amazing. You know, I just got an email recently from Jenny Erickson, somebody I met who's in Norway, who her and her husband run this, uh, run this uh, bi-monthly, happens twice a month, or maybe that's semi-monthly. Uh, yeah, it's semi-monthly uh, call called Speaker Connections great opportunity to connect with people all around the world. Um, didn't know anything about it in 2022. Um, it was just through connections I had made in 2023. I don't know what's going to come from that, but every year something new comes from just kind of getting out there and meeting people. Uh, having goals around attending networking events. How many are you going to do? Now, you know, don't bury your life in networking events. I see a lot of people at a lot of events and I wonder how they get things done. Um, and so you need to you need to serve your clients. You need to serve the people that that pay you, um, but make a point of getting out and, and figuring out who your audience is and, and, and going um, and going and attending those events. And again, there to build relationships, reconnect with the people, you know, and then connect with somebody new. And it doesn't have to be a lot of people, but kind of make set that goal for yourself. Put that goal in writing, uh, review it often, share it with other people. These are the things I'm trying to do. You know, it's my goal to be at this event every month or eight of the 12 times this year or whatever it is and let people know and then go after that goal. Uh, certainly, you need to follow up with those relationships and make sure that uh, uh you know, make sure that you're you're building a connection there. I mean, the key is relationship. You know, just having a having a connection isn't really going to be isn't really going to be helpful to you if you're not building a relationship. Um, and there are a lot of people out there that's just interested in a connection and not a relationship. And that's fine. You know, not everybody you're going to meet is going to work out, and and, and that's okay. Um, one other thing I encourage you to do is to network outside of the circles that you're currently in. Um, you know, it kind of, it, you know, you need to, you need to sort of leave your comfort zone with respect to that. But if you remember from school, the Venn diagrams, right? The circles that overlapped, um, you know, when you go and you go to, and maybe it's maybe new industry or a, another industry is not a, a great description for it, although that could be. But put yourself into a new circle of people, wherever that is. You know, I've been doing this event. I'm going to add this other event, um, you know, essentially measuring, you know, this didn't work as well or I'm going to try this new thing. 
but when you put yourself into that new into that um that new event or you cross your your circle over with something new you're tapped into a whole bunch of new people again i used you know speaker connections and jenny erickson is a great example of connecting with people now there are many there are some people the, the circles are overlapping so there are some that i already know but there are just a plethora of people that i didn't know before and that can be a powerful thing uh and this is a great time of year to kind of commit to these sorts of things. It's also good to, to sit, and we talked about this uh, l last episode, reflecting on achievements and reflecting on the things that worked um, and discussing how you can, you know, how you can double down on things um, or how you can change things up. But what I find is reflecting on achievement is really useful in boosting confidence uh, and motivating you for the coming year. Um, it's easy to look and say, oh my gosh, I've got 12 of these things that I need to be doing. Um, you know, is it really worth my time and stopping and thinking back and saying, okay, yeah, you know what it is, it, it was worthwhile. It really was. I look at that with respect to podcasting. I mean, I, you know, it's 2024. I started podcasting in 2018. I remember I was doing one a week thinking, okay, you know, I, I'll hit 50 by the end of the year. Um, you know, now I'm really doing about two a week and it's, it's going rather quickly, you know, I'll hit 700 episodes th this year. Um, and it's just amazing. Um, and it is a lot of work. It can be a lot of work, uh, and you systematize it over time and you get help from other people and, and, you know, delegate and whatnot. I've got a great assistant, but what I, what keeps me going is, you know, gives me the confidence and the motivation to continue on with it is I look back and I see, okay, wow, um, all these people I've met, um, I've sold franchises through podcasting. Um, and so that sort of keeps me going. And so you need to look at your own world and podcasting might not be for you, but there's something that out there is out there that, you know what, that really works for me. I need to really double down on that. Um, you need to, you need to have a goal as far as things you're going to do for other people. I call it a giving goal. Um, and this is a great time of year to set something for yourself. And I, you know, I'm a fan of, you know, new year can happen at any time. So if you're listening to this and it's March, um, and you haven't done something, um, you know what? It's okay to start now. You don't, I'll wait till, I'll wait till January 1, 2025. No, it, you know, have a work on a fiscal year, right? I'm starting now. Now is my new year. <clears throat> but, you know, having a giving goal, you know, that what are you going to do for other people? How many connections are you going to make? How many introductions are you going to make? How many referrals are you going to try and give? And, and I realize <clears throat> you're, you don't, it's not all totally in your control as to whether these things can happen or not happen, but you can set a goal, have that goal <clears throat> in writing and really look at it um, and, you know, and and make every effort to try and, and, and make it work out. Um, and then the last thing I'll say is, well, second to last thing, I did this last week too. I, I a thought came to me, um, have some balance, have some balance between networking and 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 your your work life. Um, you know, and I, I alluded to this earlier is that you you can't be networking all the time. Um, you need to you need to get work done. You need to have a personal life, and so it's okay to just check out of networking from time to time, and that can be built into your goals. Um, I'm going to spend so much time reading. I'm going to spend so much time just being alone with myself, going for a walk. Um, and I've, I've talked about this on prior episodes that that downtime is really important because what it does is it allows your brain, um, the, the dorsal medial prefrontal cortex, um, it allows that to kind of organize things, organize thoughts and helps you sort out how you're going to have relationships with people, believe it or not. So that downtime is important. So you need to kind of pull yourself away from networking as well. So have have that balance. But the last thing I want to say with respect to 
you know, kicking off the new year right is having a way of kind of measuring your successes. Um, and, you know, they can be qualitative successes. They can be quantitative successes. I mean, qualitative and just how you feel, you know, do you have a confidence about it? Do you feel comfortable getting on a Zoom call with people? Do you get comfortable? Are you comfortable going into podcasts? Um, are you comfortable with your 30 second commercial? Uh, and I realize those are just really kind of a, a feel and there's no quantitative measure to it. But it's OK to have those sorts of, you know, sorts of benchmarks out there for you. But quantitative metrics as well It's you know, again, it's the things that you can control, the number of things that you're doing. Um, you know, number of, you know, for me, it's, you know, with respect to my podcast, I look to get, you know, 52 people on a year and, you know, the majority of them, when I say the majority, the vast majority. So I'm going to do 52 interviews this year. At least 45 are going to be new people, new people I get to connect with and learn about. And not all of them are going to become relationships, but some of them will become relationships and some of them will turn into real sorts of things. Um, and I don't know what they are. I'm excited for the new year. I'm always excited for the new year. I hope you're excited for the new year. Um, you know, whatever that new year is. Again, if you're listening to this thing in March or June, you can you can declare it to be a new year and, and set any of this stuff in motion. So it's, there's nothing, there really is nothing magical about January 1st, um, but it's just kind of that time where we tell ourselves that we're going to do something special. Um, and those are those are some ideas. The, I've just given you some ideas of things that you can take advantage of to really have a great a great 2024 or whatever the next year is when you're listening to this. Have a great day. Go watch some football. Thanks for joining us on the Networking RX podcast. Please put what you've learned into action today and let us know if you have questions, comments, or ideas for future topics. You can email them to us at podcast at amspirit.com. That's A-M-S-P-I-R-I-T dot com. Finally, so you never miss an episode, be sure to subscribe to the Networking Rx podcast through iTunes, Overcast, or however you receive your podcasts. Now get out and network with someone. The Networking Rx podcast is a copyright production of Amspirit Business Connection. All rights reserved.